Hello everyone, my name is Piyush and welcome back to my channel. This is video number 20 in the series AZ900 with Piyush. In this particular video, we will be looking into Azure management and governance. So make sure you watch the video till the end because we will be doing some knowledge checks at the end. And uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with our video on Azure management and governance. The first topic would be Azure Blueprints. Azure Blueprints deploy a new environment based on all of the requirements, settings and configuration of the associated artifacts. These artifacts can include things such as role assignments, policy assignments, Azure resource management templates and resource groups. It also preserves what should be deployed using Blueprint definition and what was deployed using Blueprint assignment. So definition is what should be the desired deployment and assignment is what is actually being deployed. Now let's have a look at Azure policy. Azure policy is a service in Azure that enables you to create, assign and manage policies that enforces rules so that configurations stay compliant. For example, you create a policy which states that you can only create virtual machines in Canada central region. If you try to create that in any other location, it will throw the error. Also, it will check if there are any existing virtual machines in any other region. It will throw the error that virtual machines are non-compliant. So these policies audit and control your resources. A group of policy is called an initiative. So you can assign the policy and you can assign the initiative as well. Now the next topic is resource locks. So resource lock is something that prevent resource from being accidentally deleted or modified. It can be applied at multiple levels. So you can apply the resource lock at subscription level over here or resource group level or at individual resources level. But these uh, resource locks are inherited in nature. That means if you have applied it at subscription level, then it is inherited by the subsequent child nodes such as resource group and resources. So there are two types of resource locks, delete lock and a read only lock. Uh, with delete lock, you can only read and modify the resource. But with read only lock, you can only read the resources. You cannot modify or delete it. So read only lock is just like a reader role in Azure. The next topic is service trust portal. Microsoft Service Trust Portal is a portal that provides access to various content, tools and other resources about Microsoft security, privacy and compliance practices. So it also provides you detailed information about how they are protecting cloud services and customers data. You can download all the reports and documents by going over here, all documents and you can pin the documents in my library to create a custom view. If so, like always, take the screenshot of this page and try to answer these questions. Let me know in the comment section if you face any difficulty in answering those or if you want to share the answer with the community members as well, feel free to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this video was somewhat valuable and you have learned something out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel if you are new here. And I will see you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.